you are watching Sway, 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 Sway In the morning, in the morning, in the morning Only on Shade 45, in the home of the MC Wake up, wake up Sway in the morning, you heard? Stay tuned The a and room is about to be official, Rich Nice We got an executive, a VP here He's gonna come in and break down the way the music business works Why it is, where it is why, who is, who they are, mm. and how it comes to be. Riggs Morales, ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause. Hey, Riggs. Wow. Morning. Guy's been behind a lot of hit records. Man. Been a behind a man behind a lot of hit careers. Wow. He's one of us in the trenches. Rich Nice, he's one of us in the trenches. I see him. KRS-One once told me, Sway. By the time you're 18, if you're not a part of a movement or an organization that's against the status quo, that's against the establishment, then you have no heart. Mm. And then he says, Sway, but by the time you're 25, if you're not a part of that same establishment that you were against, then you have no brain. You cannot make change from outside. Somebody got to infiltrate the walls. Yeah. Somebody got to break through the barriers. Someone has to crush through the ceilings. And that's what this man has done for culture and music. Riggs Morales, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Damn, dude. I'm not going to front. I've been exposed. Yeah, man. You got me. <laughs> I got you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know the whole deal, Riggs. How you been, brother? I can't complain, man. Life is great, man. Life is great, man. Uh, this guy is a, B a VP of... A and R development, or what's the official title? Oh, vice president of A and R and artist development in at Atlantic Records. At yes. Atlantic Records, some of your top tier artists right now. Man, my priorities are uh, Wiz, mm -hmm. uh, oh. Action Bronson. Oh. Um, not necessarily under my watch, but you know Wale, Meek, yeah. and um, one of the most exciting projects I'm working on right now is the Hamilton soundtrack. The Hamilton soundtrack, which is the Broadway play that Heather B and I was able to attend courtesy of Riggs Morales, hey. ladies and gentlemen. You see where this is going. That's the plug. You see where this is going. I've been exposed again. Yes. <laughs> and what an amazing play. I've never been so entertained on, on Broadway as I was watching Hamilton, which tells the stories of our forefathers, right, yeah. um, in a really interesting way. They have people of color playing some legendary, iconic iconic people in our country's history. Um, and it was written by the Lin, play. Yeah, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who's the uh, the star writer and creator of the of the, this wonderful, amazing experience taking place on Broadway. Yeah, and it's been it's sold out. It's the hardest ticket to get, mm -hmm. even though I was sitting front and center, middle row, Let middle seat. Yo, the what? seats were bonkers. Yeah, our folks get taken care of. Yo, man, <laughs> yeah. I had the best seat. It was a lot of snooty people looking at me like, <laughs> how did the guy in the hat get that seat? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look at his beard. He has naps on his face. Damn. All the hip hop heads that attend get those seats. They get those seats. Yeah, we make sure that they get taken care of. They go meet you know, Lynn afterwards because Lynn, at the end of the day, is one of us. Yeah, as you mm -hmm. say. Yeah, he's a hip hop head. Damn near, you know, backpacker from back in the days came up. You know, listening and, and being inspired by some legendary music, and you can see it reflected in the play. Mm -hmm. So, um, whenever you know, funny stories. Say, for example, uh, Royster Five Nine. Well, uh, recently attended and he brought a special guest with him he brought with him Katy Perry oh and you wow. know when uh we set up for him to go backstage you know you think it's Katy Perry wow this you know the, the, they part the Red Sea when Royce got there you know it was like they took Royce to the side wow. <laughs> and put you know make sure that he was situated away from everyone from all the commotion and it was just Royce and Lynn one on one kicking it like wow. that's what he finds what, what valuable. Did, did Katie go get water for them? Or something? <laughs> no <laughs> idea. Did Katie do? <laughs> like, what no idea, man. What to Katie, but she, you know, but that goes to show you whenever one of our heads pops up there and goes through, he's very, very excited because when he put this together, he wanted to make sure that we soaked it in we understood it and we became part of it which is so weird because when i first saw the dress rehearsal yeah i looked around mm -hmm. and there was no one like me yeah. in that audience but i was going crazy at all the little references there's references that he had to take off for clearing yeah. uh, uh, samples but 
Otherwise, you just look at, you know, a Broadway crowd, yeah. you know, primarily white, little old, mm -hmm. you know, and just like they're into it. They're into what this thing that's going on there. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if they know what this is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the way he's flowing is so Eminem circa renegade. Like yeah. Every, it's bars. It's bars upon bars. So, you know, it was very important for him that when he did release this and put this out, that it became part of our fabric as well. And for what it's worth, way it's yeah. been it's been a hard sell trying to get folks to come by and see it. You know, like our heads, like the well, top they, tier. Yeah, yeah, they won't go. It's because crazy. they don't know. They don't know. No, they They're don't absolutely know. right. And yeah. I do a horrible job selling it because yeah. it is a very difficult thing to sell. Yo, it's a hip hop play about Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> you know, yeah, but, but it's interesting because it tell, ta tells the story of how our banking system was formed. It tells right. a story of how you know the Constitution was written. It tells. Bill of Rights, you know, all of the forefathers that created this infrastructure of our country, the, our government, you know, uh, these people all, are all being taught about. Like in in a way that if, you know, when you were eighth grade, you got um, American history, 11th grade up when I was growing up, you got American history, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I didn't understand it. I didn't comprehend it as well as I did after watching this play how everything was formed to be. You same know? same eye-opener for me. Right. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I wasn't the best, you know, American history, social stuff, you know, yeah. just wasn't really my, my cue, but I walked away, I know everything about Alexander Hamilton, the importance <laughs> of him, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and mm -hmm. all this stuff, and even how it affects, you know, how you know, guy used to live uptown, you know, yeah. and, and from Jersey, all these little things that I had no idea, you know, he was responsible for. Uh, the soundtrack is available. Yes, it's available on iTunes, iTunes man. Okay. And even with that, we're breaking so much new ground because when we put it together, we approached it a lot differently than most traditional cast albums. Most traditional Broadway cast albums are 75% vocals, 25% everything else. Here, we wanted to make sure sonically we found that nice little balance. So to make sure that that's the case, we brought in The Roots. Uh, Quest Love, Black Thought did a wonderful job helping to oversee that entire process, and it was literally song by song, making sure that the hi hats was there. You wouldn't want, you didn't want to scare off the Broadway crowd. You didn't want to turn off the hip hop heads, which is why I get a lot of. I listen to it in the car with the family yeah. from a lot of yeah. folks. It's yeah. it's that it's educational, and until you're fortunate enough to see the play, which I hope everyone listening gets a chance to see this at some point. Um, the soundtrack is the second best experience, and mm. um, it's it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. I want to encourage like our citizens tuned in right now. By the way, Riggs Morales, this is probably the best fertile ground you get a platform that you get um, come on to when it comes to music culture and music lovers. Amen. So our our, our listeners are going to tell you what they really think, and they actually buy music. They support it. That's excellent. Yeah, I thought you might be happy to hear that. <laughs> Super All right. Happy. Okay. Um, um, go, man, make sure you guys go to iTunes, download the Hamilton album. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think. If you haven't done it already, do it. Please. All right. And then, Riggs, we got to go into this AR room. Uh, Rich Nice is here, ladies and gentlemen. Rich Nice is here. Soundboy Killer. Okay. And Yo, DJ Rich. Wonder is here as well. DJ Wonder is here. DJ Wonder is here. <laughs> Hey, Wonder. What's happening, guys? All right, great. <laughs> that was so excitable. Thanks for showing up today, Wonder. Appreciate we're, you. We're going to come back. Uh, let's get into it right now. So we're going to play I some. I want to play some diverse. Can we play okay, some? Okay, okay. Would you, Wonder, please? Can we play something from Hamilton soundtrack? How about that? Let's oh, do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's, we, we're going to play something from the Hamilton soundtrack. Okay. And so, and, <laughs> and, and hopefully this is, this is enough to make you be interested enough to go buy it. It'll be a, the most different experience you've ever had. I guarantee it. Play in the morning, share, save for a fire. That's off the Hamilton soundtrack. My shot. Nice. The MCs are all Broadway actors. What an amazing Broadway play. That's nice. I like to see hip hop on Broadway. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Uh, I remember Jam on the Groove back in the late 90s. That was great. Prince Ken Swift, a lot yep. of B boys got together, yep. put together something called Jam on the Groove. That was dope. Wow. I remember, remember that. Remember that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Even Deaf Poets on Broadway, I actually did the music on that with Commissioner Gordon. We won a Tony Award. Y'all yeah. yeah, did that with so Sanal Lathis, yeah, father. It was, yeah, wow. yeah, it was great. Russell Simmons was the executive producer and, uh, and his brother Danny Simmons. Yeah. It was great. It was, it was interesting because to see, like he's saying, it's difficult to get the hip-hop audience and then that same Broadway audience together and kind of watch them in the beginning kind of do this to each other. And then... What is that, Rich? The little no snarl, like, <laughs> what are you right. doing yeah, here? What right. are you doing here? Like, you got on shell toes. You shouldn't be here. You know, and then when they get the, into the groove with it, they're like, 
you know I used to have a pair of shell toes. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. All of a sudden, now they're your friend. Like, you know I used to have a pair of shell toes. I yeah. always you know? like shell toes. Yeah. We got Dre on the line from Queens. What's up, Dre? Hey, what's going on, guys? How y'all doing? I want to give a shout out to Riggs. I'm actually a uh, producer, and I used to submit beats when he was working with Bobby uh, Creekwater. So oh. I want to oh, give wow. him a big shout out. Wow. What up, Rick? What's going on? <laughs> What's going you on? Remember man? her? Yeah, man. It's been a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a super minute. What's your beats like, yo? <laughs> hey, man, I got some hard stuff, though. And and I want to give a shout out um, to Tracy G as well. What up, Tracy? Hey, babe. How are you? How are you? I'm good, love. Thank you. Y'all know each so, other? Well, we actually, I hit her up on Instagram about two days ago to see if Mr. Sway can have a few of the female producers up mm-hmm. there. Well, it's funny you say this, Drea, because I was just about to say, why don't you come up here? Um, well, you know what? Let's get you connected with Tracy. She's on her no game. Problem. Okay, and then we're going to, let me hear a couple of your beats, and I was going to suggest you come to our Friday Cypher and play beats. Hey, I'm there, Sway. You okay. Just let me know. So my ID is Drea Track. But Drea, let me uh, hear the beats first. Yeah. No yeah. Problem. Okay. Make sure you got fire beats. <laughs> okay. All right. You're no s- problem. All right. So hit up Tracy. All right, y'all. All right. You're a citizen. A Sway in the morning. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. 23 minutes into the hour. We got the VP of A&R and Artist Development at Atlantic Records. Uh, Riggs Morales is here. If you want to hit him on social media, Riggs, how can people find you on Twitter and Instagram and otherwise? Uh, on Instagram, y'all can find me at Riggy Smalls. R-I-G-G-Y, smalls with a Z, at gmail.com. And on Twitter, it's rigged up. R-I-G-G-D-U-P. R-I-G-G-D-U-P. Rigged up. Hit them up. All right, tell them you uh, heard them on Sway in the morning. Do it now, man. Impress us. All right, uh, so first up, we're going to go do rigs. Rigs, so we're going to play the music. We're going to find out how the uh, citizens feel about it, and we'll get some feedback. Who is this artist? This is an artist out of Chicago named Sir the Baptist. And I w- it, what caught my attention about Sir the Baptist was it was a, a social component mixed with a church element. Mm. And I think that hip hop, you know, there's a, hip hop is still young and there's, you know, a lot of elements that, that still haven't been fully brought out yet. And while you have the Lecrae's of the world, you know, breaking ground on that end, I think his success is going to, is going to inspire a whole new generation of folks that have a religious message of sorts. Now, mm. this isn't necessarily religious more than it is hit rap hymns, raps through hymns, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. so it's almost like the feeling of you're in church. So this is Sir the Baptist who, you know, actually comes from a family of of, of a Baptist and um, he's from Chicago. And uh, this is a record that caught my attention. It's called Raise Hell. Raise Hell. Let us know if you like it or not, citizens. 888-742-3345. Sir the Baptist, sway in the morning. Sir the Baptist, raising hell. Raise hell. Yo. What just happened right there? What just happened right there? Anybody else feel that? You heathens? I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only Listen, one that felt that? I felt no, it. you're not the only one that Rich, felt it. what you it. think of that? Energy was great. You know, a lot of times in music, you, you, what people really create music for is to move people and create an energy that's positive and makes you feel you know happy and dance you want to clap you want to you want to do something outside of being you know in a regular state Mm. and that that song gives you energy to be out of a regular state you can use how people all just sitting kind of calm and regular and then when it came on it it lifted you up it's a disruption Mm -hmm. yeah it it, it disrupts things it's this yeah that's um and did you hear the grittiness and yeah. the texture of his At voice. At the same time. Tracy, yeah. what you think? I liked it. Like Rich said, it's very um, frenetic. It reminded me of Macklemore's Can't Hold Us, the production, which is a song that I really, really like. Um, so that's definitely a compliment. But yeah, it's different from all like the sleepy trap music that we get slapped with constantly. Very strong messaging. So it's a wake-up call. What do you think, DJ Wonder? I like it. I had a nice message. Use the F word, though, which was surprising, so... Might I be, like that too. Yeah, it might be something. I sound like Tracy. She's always preaching the gospel and, and saying the <laughs> F word. Yeah. Did, didn't Lauren Hill say you throw an MF or so the ignorant, be, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Make it more digestible. That is what Lauren said. Uh, we got Ray on the line from Boston. What up, Big Ray? Big Ray. Ray. What's good, boy? How you doing? Doing all right, man. So, what did you think of uh, Sir the Baptist? It was good. The energy is good. The only thing is, I feel like he's kind of he sounded a lot like Chance the Rapper. I feel like there's a lot of people taking that sound right now. I don't know. That's all I can hear. 
I didn't chance. chance that it comes to mind at all. I didn't Interesting. Hear that at all. I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, but you know, we gotta go. We gonna have to play that again, Ray. I gotta hear that again. Hey, uh, so what? Well, so what? Thumbs up or thumbs down? What's that? No, thumbs up. Do you like it or not? If you had to choose, yes or no, yeah or nay. Uh, overall, I'll give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. We got um Banks on the line from Philly. What up, Banks? How you doing, Banks? Banks. Banks. Yo, what's up, Sway? What's what? up, Tracy? Hey, hey. Listen, I'm honored to be on your show. Thank you. Listen to you every single day. Thank you. I want to be a citizen. Banks, mm. you know what? You you were very polite in your approach with me. Very he was. respectful. And the fact that you are invested in this show, man, I appreciate you. You are officially a citizen. Of Sway in the my Morning. Man, my man. Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations, Listen. man. <laughs> Thank what do you, you. What do you think of that song, man? Listen, I appreciate the effort. Um, and we need more positivity out there. But I think the message is a little mixed. Um, saying you're going to raise hell to get to heaven. Those two things don't mix for me. Okay. So okay. I, I like positivity. I, I like that it's something other than the norm, but I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs down because of that. Okay, okay, mm. that's mm. fair enough. Interesting. Yeah, I get that okay. a lot. Yeah. I actually get that from folks that listen to this. There's a what some folks are, are seen as conflicted. Other folks are seeing it as this is just a new generation. Like mm. these kids are definitely they believe in God. They go to church, but they definitely have their their edge to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? So I'm gonna raise hell to get to heaven. <sighs> Man, I, you know, I could defend this guy all day, man. Like, listen, how many churches we going in with the Jerry Curl preacher and the Reverend Ham Hawk? He gets the Cadillac. He's out the back door with the money. And that's old school. That's not now. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? At least he's decisive in his message. Yeah, and yeah. I don't think he's being like, like, this is something that's figurative. I feel like he's just playing on words. That, well, that's what Banks felt, so... Um, Banks felt like it was conflicting messaging, but that's good. That's, that's his opinion. That's disruption. Yes. Kia's on the line from Houston. Kia, what do you think? You Kia. like it or not? Hey, hey Slay. So a few things. Like I've never been a fan of mixing gospel and rap. Like I, I feel like it always comes out really, really corny and cheesy. <laughs> Yeah. But I think he did he did a really good job. And like you guys are saying, like reaching out to the new generation where you know we have our beliefs and everything but of course you know we kind of want to turn out we want to party every now and again you know but we still have ourselves grounded and i think this song did a really good job at blending that like because it's mixing rap and gospel my mind doesn't want to like it but you know i can't help it you can't help it right the song. i can't help it i love it and, and that's the same thing they said to ray charles how about that the, you know because they said he was playing um um church uh, chords secular music and, 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 and yeah, yeah. Play, playing church music in, in for a secular sound the same thing with donny hathaway the same thing with sam cook sam the cook, same yeah. thing with marvin gay the same thing with stevie wonder quincy jones went through it yeah i mean there's only listen pull out a keyboard there's only 12 notes yeah so pretty soup pretty after a while these songs are going to start to have the same progressions or the same feelings, and it just depends on what you put on top. Yeah, that's going to take it either to the left for a little more gospel feel, or a little to the right for a little less gospel feel. But that doesn't mean you believe any less or more. So, Kia, you gave it a thumbs up, right? I give it a thumbs up. Oakland stamp of approval. Ooh. There it is, Kia. You're a citizen. That's way in the morning. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Rich, man, man. We we usually don't talk that much about the songs, but man, that song kind of. <laughs> Charged up a conversation. Pot. That's like, awesome. You look at Rich is fired up. Rich, why don't you go <laughs> next, man? I mean, what's your song? Well, you know what? My song is completely heathenous. It's all the way to the left. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's from a, a label out of England called King Underground. They, they do a lot of unique hip hop. They were a, a, a store outlet in the UK for a while. Now they've developed and morphed into a label and content development and stuff like that. And they have an, a, a, a few artists. Uh, this guy name is Ping. He's a producer and he's a DJ. And this song is uh, featuring Ivan Av. And the name of the song is Peace. Peace. Ivan Av. And the name of the song is Peace. Peace. Let us know if you like it or not, citizens. We need your feedback. 888-742-3345. P-I-N-G featuring Ivan Av. Out of Oslo, Norway. Song is called Peace. These boys on to something. I like the feel of that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Riggs Morales is here, um, VP of A&R, Artist Development at Atlantic Records. What you think of that song? 
man, I'm kind of conflicted because it's like the beat speaks to me as yeah. a fan, just in general. Um, just like nodding my head to it. You could tell he damn near ripped the page from freaking, you know, 96. Yeah. Six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. 96. <laughs> Six. Yeah. So yeah. 96. Yeah. You can see his influences. And had you told me he was from London or, or from out of the country, I'm like, wow, no way. But kids over there are still students and that's what that's the beauty about foreign rap acts like they're students they study the game that's on the fan end on the fan end i'm like all right i can knock to this i yeah. can put it on a playlist and chill from a signing standpoint still needs development because mm -hmm. i don't know who he speaks to because i'm going to put him in on i is he going to compete when i'm listening to something like this i'm like can this kid compete with cole can he compete with kendrick nah not yet you know because mm -hmm. he speaks that 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 those sonics speak in that direction mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. he can't compete with them and those bars got to be raised up a little higher huh. um you know the safe pat the safe bet is i'm like i'm like a i'm like a yeah you know i think we're, we're past it at this point i think yeah. today's generation doesn't even do like anymore they just cut to the <laughs> you don't hear like man. right yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. you just cut to the, yeah that's you a just real cut observation to, yeah so yeah. it's like they, they they edited they shit a bit more than mm. than these kids but um i think it was cool so instead of saying you you would say I'm, I'm bread dough and cheese, pizza, basically <laughs> you don't right. need to like it. Yeah. Like, you don't need not. Yeah. You don't need to like it. It's yeah. like you know who's a master at that? Wayne, Nicki, mm -hmm. and Drake. They're masters at that. Yeah. And, and I'm catching and Big the brain Sean. Right. Big yeah, Big come Sean. on. I think is like I think he's source. probably yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big Sean I think might be the, the dude that you know to plan it too. out and yeah yeah change yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's that's uh that's my initial thoughts on okay. this. As a right. fan, it's dope. I can rock out. But to he ain't it. ready for signing. No, not yet. Not no not way. not to you. Not through you at least. Yeah. All right, uh, Tracy, what you thought? Um, I really really liked it, but you know now listening to like that breakdown on, for the critique, I I think that it resonates with me because I love the production, but I was thinking that while I'm listening to a bit of the wordplay, like there were some lines that I like something about. Um, trying to add yellow to these blues, you know what I mean? Mm. He's trying to get money for the green. Like, I like that, but there wasn't enough of those aha moments, you know? So thinking about it in a competitive space, like, every single day we are bombarded. Like, a thousand rappers are born every single day. Mm -hmm. So what would make me pick you? And okay. I don't know if he has that factor all the way, but yeah. I'm down for him to develop, and yeah, I'll keep my ears. I'd love to listen to more. Right? Absolutely, yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's a good vibe. Like you could put it in a, you know, you could tune into it on a Saturday morning. That's my, yeah. my that's my gauge day. He's certainly you not know. whack. No, no, he's not whack. Far, Far from it. Wonder, you good with it? I love production. Um, it's tough. You know, I was, I was joking with Rich. He sounds like Jay Lamar, or like Kendrick Cole. I was yep. saying his name is, but it's tough, man. So look, it, this guy wants to, you know himself after those rappers so he's put into a different level he has to raise his bars up when he could just pick the bama route and get signed right away if he would just would have been like nah, 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 over the over the mic the kids <laughs> right. do. so since they since he puts himself in that in that category he has to step his bars up several times over that's crazy yeah you know what's funny i'm looking at this like when you hear somebody like this an mc Whenever I'm listening to an MC, I've always I've always felt that you could develop an MC into something that could cross over instead of vice versa. Yeah. And when you're listening to bars, you wonder to yourself, all right, let him get his rocks off for the first album. Just like spit your ass off. You get especially if there's a lot of wow moments. Right. Mm -hmm. In due time, the really good ones start assessing themselves and really getting a good temperature of like, all right, I'm gonna save the bars for here, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna go a little bit more mass appeal over with these records right here. Um, based off what I'm listening to here. Let's revisit this a year from now, and don't be surprised if the kid, based off the feedback that we're giving him, comes back, you know. Yeah, stronger. That's something yeah. else. We um, got um, Tim on the line from Wisconsin. Tim, what up, baby? Hey, Tim. Big Tim. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing great, man. We just listened to a brand new song. It's called Peace by an artist named Ping featuring Ivan Av. What did you think? Do you like it? What are your thoughts? Do you not? Uh, you know, I really like the sample utilization. I thought the beat was great. Uh, like you guys said, it definitely sounds like it came out of like 95. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I wanted to comment on about the rapper, um, you know, MCs can try to go the mainstream route, but the vibe I got from him uh, was maybe more of a rock marciano feel. Mm. Um his stuff wasn't directly in your face. You had to decipher a little bit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everyone wants to make it, but not necessarily blow up like a J. Cole or a Kendrick Lamar. Some people just want to have moderate success. You guys have, you have guys like Rock Marciano who are very well respected 
and actually do pretty well. So, you know, I still like his lyrics quite a bit. I didn't think that uh, they were bad at all. That's okay. just my all right. I the <laughs> Okay, that was great. Um, and Tim's here. You hearing it from the outside in? You know, we're in, we're inside of a studio listening. So, right. I, I like. I, how are you listening? Are you in your car? Are you on a uh, on your phone? How are you listening? I'm in a car. I drive all day for work. So. Okay. All right. all right. Hey, Tim, you're a citizen, That's man. Sway in the morning. Thank you, brother. Drive safe. All right. Uh, let's take it to the West Coast. We got David in L.A. Big Dave, what up? David. David. What's going on? What's up? Hey, you know, this track was pretty badass because I was listening to it when I was driving to work, and I wanted to put my windows on the freeway. I was like, yeah, this is a good track, man. You, you like it? Yeah, it was a good track. It was like, okay. I like, like underground music, like, and... Okay. I thought his stuff was pretty good, you know. I, I want to roll my windows down the field and be like, yeah, just bump it all the way to like 50. That's his, that's his test. Okay. And it worked. <laughs> he rolled his windows down and worked. David, you're a citizen. That's the way in the morning. All right. Vaughn is in Maryland. What do you think, Vaughn? Vaughn, you yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, what up, Vaughn? Yeah. Uh, first off, man, <clears throat> I like the track. It was it's kind of um, an older, older, old school feel to me. It was pretty tight. But it was a little, it was a little slow for me, man. I wish it was a little bit more upbeat. Mm -hmm. hmm. But again, you know, that's just what I was in the mood for today at this moment. But I think, I think he's, I think he's pretty dope, man. I think he's real dope. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right, Vine. All right. So he got three uh, thumbs up there, Deborah. That's good. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you surprised? Huh? No, I'm, I actually, you know, Rich Nice always comes with the left field. You know, <laughs> you know, it's so many songs he's brought up here a year in advance, a year later with, you know, artists are coming up here after win, being nominated for Grammys or having successful. So Rich catches things early a lot. Um, Riggs Morales is here. Uh, if you want to hit him up on Twitter, it's at Rigged Up, R-I-G-G-D-U-P. He's the VP of A and R Artist Development and Artist Development for Atlantic Records. We're in the middle of the A and R room. We got one more song by DJ Wonder. All right, this is a group called London Drugs. L N D N D R G S. <laughs> London Drugs. All right, it's featuring Jay Worthy. That's the rapper. He's from uh, L A. Compton, to be exact. And Sean House. He's from Vancouver. Does the production. It's definitely got the whole. The whole EP is called Active, and it's got a, a very West Coast G-Funk kind of feel. And the, the title track is called Active, featuring YG Hootie, and that's the song I chose to play okay. today. Okay, cool. I love how he played his own instrumental underneath this. You know, <laughs> you like that? the whole presentation. He's that? trying to persuade the audience right there. Let us know what you think. 888-742-3345, if you like it or not. Yeah. All right, London Drugs. That's the name of the song. I mean, the group is called London Drugs. The song is called Active, and it's featuring YG Hootie. Uh, Riggs Morales, what do you think? Man, can I tell you, this is one of those times that I would have wished that uh, that that Mustard would have actually touched that. Only mm -hmm. because of the swing that it had to it, and they mm -hmm. landed in pocket. So I was not a fan of that beat. Mm -hmm. That beat, and I know the sample, and mm -hmm. it's fly as hell, but just like, ugh, it just didn't really do it for me. I like them more than I like the track. So you like the track. You felt like, uh, why not? Is it just a stack? Does it get... So, sometimes music, songs like that make me feel like uh, 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 I feel stagnation like because I've heard that approach for decades you do you feel is it that for you or is it you just don't in like reference it? to the that actual the, track yeah yeah because it's just like it's almost like press, he just press play on, on, on press re, uh, I'm sorry press record on just the sample just let it go like anybody could have just made that track mm -hmm. in terms of giving themselves an identity I don't think that track was the most because when you said it's kind of like G-Funkish I'm like okay cool we kind of need that it's due for a comeback mm -hmm. but I've come across a couple of sounds recently where folks have you know respectfully gone back to that sound in a way that resonates today I don't think this did that I like them I wasn't a big fan of the beat. It, it was really bothersome. Rich Nice. You know what? It's funny. I kind of got to agree. Uh, it, it was weird because I was waiting for that G-Funk moment. Like, I want to hit switches in my <laughs> chair. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want yeah. to hit switches in my chair. <laughs> and I, I think I spent more time trying to figure out how come they didn't do more to the sample than actually the song. You know what I mean? The flow was right. They was rhyming. I, I, I felt where they was at. But I could have I could have had a little more change in the music, you know, so it made it kind of a little OK. Like, I don't think it's whack, but it's just like, OK. Tracy. Um, I didn't reach like that pinnacle moment of. All right. This is my shit. In the beginning, it was. um, 
I don't know. It caught me off guard. I'm not sure if it's because my ears were already kind of like conditioned to a certain sound of the past two records that we played. Um, I wasn't all the way on board. Somewhere in the middle, I kind of dug it, but the beginning and the end, not so much. Okay, let's go to the phone lines. We're going to go to Chicago. We got Derek in Chicago. What did you think? That's the song London Drugs. Uh, it's the name of the group, Active. It's the name of the song. What you think? Honestly, just some of the same things the last caller said. Um, I just wasn't feeling it, too. Uh, outside of Warren G, I haven't seen anybody take that space off into where it needs to go. So I wasn't feeling the track. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, DJ Quick. Uh, Chris <laughs> in Tacoma, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I thought that song was terrible. And I'm going to call in and, and just represent folks for, you know, who really did, um, you know, enjoy the golden era of hip hop. So let me just tell you what I heard re real quick. I heard some imitation, right? I heard people trying to imitate a little bit of Too Short. I heard a, a little bit of uh, kind of imitation of what people might perceive to be G Funk. And then throw it on top of the trendy, uh, you know, like Colonel Loud kind of, uh, let's bring back some of the 80s track. Mm -hmm. It just sounded terrible to me. I'm sorry. Okay, Chris, thanks for your call. You're a citizen, bro. That's Sway in the morning. Zach in Minneapolis, what do you think? Hey, Zach. Yo, what it do, Sway? What it hey, do? We already, yo, we already know that shit was whack, but can I say one thing? <laughs> yeah, go you ahead, man. So long, you need to look at Minneapolis. Minneapolis is where it's at. For, Hey man, I'm, you know, but I, I'm I'm ho I, I've hosted sound set uh, with yeah. the rhyme sayers for the past three years. Minneapolis is like a, a gumble pot for music to me. It's so, it's so many different flavors and varieties coming, but the hip hop scene has always been strong. Absolutely, and yeah. I'm a promoter and a talent manager out here, so I'm heavily involved in this out here. And I'm just telling this A and R, keep keep an eye on it. Who, okay, who's the hottest rap out there right now in Minneapolis area? I'm Bobby Raps, hundred percent. Bobby, huh. Bobby Raps. Bobby Raps. Bobby Raps came on the show. Bobby Raps been on the show. Well, since you're in the yeah, thick yeah. of it all, since you're in the thick of it all, please feel free to reach out and school me because I know that Minneapolis is one of those cities, man, where I'm just like, there's just too much going on over there for somebody not to break through, and I'd love to know why. Okay, absolutely. Uh, hit up absolutely. Riggs. Hey, hey, hit him up at Rigged Up. R I G G D U P. All right, thank you for your call. Uh, yeah, thank you. You're a citizen. That's my morning. All right, so we're going to tally up the scores and see what we had. Okay, we played um, Pings by... Um, Featuring Ivan Av, Peace. Peace by Rich Nice. We played London Drugs called uh, with, with the song Active featuring YG Hootie. And then first we played Sir the Baptist, Raise Hell out of Chicago by Riggs Morales. And tally up the score with song the song. This is awesome. Mm. It was close, man. But Rich Nice. Rich Nice. Won this week. So so okay, so the song is uh, by Ping featuring Ivan I have. It's called Peace. This song, Rich Nice. Well, not only will it go into the music meeting with Ron Mills and Ronnie. Paul Rosenberg, uh, but also we'll be playing it periodically um, this week and beyond on Sway in the Morning. Riggs, thank you for coming by, man. I hope you enjoyed man, yourself, man. Listen, thank you so much for having me, man. I wish this, I wish this was, you know, much more extended. This is amazing. I haven't seen Rich in years. Yeah. I love the energy in here, and it's very rare. You know, you're in the office a lot. You're trying to make sure that you know you're on top of everything that's going on in, 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 in the marketplace, but you you don't have time to actually chill out and just like really talk music and rap music with mm -hmm. folks so this is very therapeutic for me i thank you so much Absolutely. for having me up here man and shout out to everybody at shade four five shout out to paul m shout out to my whole family over at shady man this is awesome Okay, absolutely, man. He's a member of the family, Tracy G. In case you didn't know, he's been a member I it, man. for a long time yeah. since the one beginning. One of us. He's one of us. <laughs> one of Rich, us. Uh, what, what should people be on the lookout for? Man, there's so much new music coming, but you know what? There's some holiday music coming, and uh, I've been promising the citizens a holiday project, and it's coming finally, December fourth. It's done. Okay, what's uh, it called? It's called Boutique Music for the Holiday. Very simple. It's going to be played in boutique stores for shopping. It's for shopping purposes for people who like to shop and do their thing. Okay. Very simple. I'm actually going to give DJ Wonder a copy of it so he can start, you know, inserting pieces into the mix. Whoa, inserting. Hey. hey. <laughs> okay, he can start playing songs in the mix. Okay. See? Choice of words. <laughs> I, try, I, try to, I try to be intelligent <laughs> That's here. why I said extend. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, oh, she could go longer. Nah, you know what? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. That's a good word. Uh, Tracy, I mean, excuse me, never mind. 
Uh, Riggs, thank you for coming by, man. What, what just happened? Riggs, thanks for coming by, thank man. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Me. It's Sway in the Morning. Only from Shade 45. Oh! <laughs>